This week, we're talking about anchoring and elasticity being difficult in West Coast Wait. What's up, YouTube? Brian B. and Miss Megan, westcoastwaitingonline.com. You are here for Frustration Fridays, where every Friday we upload a video covering a uh, difficult topic of West Coast Swing. So we talk about anchoring and elasticity. If we were not elastic in our dancing, there would be very little stretch between us, and it would kind of look like this. And this is exactly what it looks like when we're new to West Coast Swing. So if that's you, congratulations. If you got that far, that's hard enough as it is. But the, uh, the great thing about a West Coast Swing is the elasticity and the freedom. It's probably the most free partner dance that we have, um, and it's why people love it. I'm gonna put Miss Megan back on the other side. So when we talk about elasticity, it's the ability for me to move across my feet and feel the connection to my partner. So there's two things you're gonna to have to worry about here. Number one is the ability, and we covered this in a different Frustration Friday, the ability to move in and out of this connection on your own. So this is a good drill if Megan did the same thing. That's number one. So we have to cultivate this ability within our arm to be connected and move our own bodies. Number two, when we think about the anchor step and elasticity, it's the ability to roll our weight through our foot, right? that starts to begin to create the elasticity. Now, if we both do it, we're gonna, it's gonna feel really good. If one of us does it, it's gonna actually feel pretty good, right? So the drill to practice is just simply this. Um, and we'll do this uh, leaders and followers. As we anchor step, we, do our, we begin our triple step, triple on the final step of the anchor, I'm gonna take the weight through the toe and the ball of my foot and roll my weight through my foot, and that's gonna create elasticity, right? So we did that again. If we just did the triple step, we had triple step and, uh, and you can see the expansion away. So just practicing those triples or those anchors, triple step and stretching away. Um, and then of course, from there, it's very specific and why West Coast is difficult. It's a little easier on the leader side because we're rolling through that foot and we're continuing this direction. Sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see, please take a second to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the red button in the bottom right of the screen. And when you're done watching the video, head over to westcoastswingonline.com, enter your email, and you'll be part of our exclusive Move of the Week Club. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you on the dance floor soon. From the follower side, it's much more difficult because Megan has to stretch away to come forward, right? But if you can practice that within your own body, that is gonna be a big component. I have a belief, my personal belief, that a lot of the connection and stretch comes through my ability to move through my foot. And if you don't believe me, go to a beginner class and you'll see boxy dance steps. That's right, I had a coach once tell me that, Brian, you dance like you got boxes on the bottom of your feet, and that was in waltz. Anyways, uh, there's a couple things to help develop some elasticity and stretch in your anchor step. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. Bottom right of your screen, there's a red button. Um, head over to West Coast Swing Online, there's a link up there. And always in all of our videos, check the description box below because we link relevant um, blog articles and other videos to the topic we're talking about. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Visit the website, westcoastswingonline.com, and we will see you on a dance floor and next week for Frustration Fridays.